Welcome back, you guys. Today we're going to rinse this out, and I am so excited because this one is phenomenal. So stick around. Here we go. We're going to remove the tie that holds the background together first. In this case, I used artificial sinew because I wanted the lines to be a little bit thicker. The next one to come off is the tie that's on the sleeves, and I wanted to make this kind of mandala-esque, but not a super perfect one, so we'll see how that turned out. The next tie is the biggest tie on the shirt, and with any luck, it'll be a super beautiful direction change honeycomb. Now we're gonna undo the accent mandala that's on the top of the back of the shirt. This one's not as intricate, but it still should be really beautiful. Now it's time for the mandala on the front of the shirt. This is done in a 12 color rainbow with black. Really quick, thank you so much to all the new subscribers. We couldn't do this without you and we're so thankful. You know we gotta make tie-dye soup. Okay, here's after soup, washed and dried and ready to wear. What do you think of the front? And this is the back after it's all ready to wear. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. 